Absolutely. See, Gujarat has shown that there is an opposition and opposition is possible. Now, what happened in this Gujarat election is that I don't think Congress entered the election for last three years or four years. They entered the election, let's say, six to eight months ago. All the configuration that happened between different mass leaders happened three months ago, two months ago, one month ago. What Congress never did the, so, uh, as a chief uh, political opposition over India is that it had never combined with uh, independent voices. It had never combined with activists. It had never combined with actual grassroots agitators and given them full support. It was always Congress first, right? So everybody was actually fighting about seats and arrangements, pre and post alliances, etc, 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 tactics. All you have to do is pick up those people believe in, create an umbrella sort of a front and let them, let them lead you, let them lead. Congress need to, needs to follow them, not lead them. Congress is there, it has always been there, it will be there. But Congress needs to be led by people who are working at the grassroots. Let them decide, your candidates, let them decide your questions, let them decide your issues, because they know the issues. You are being guided by people who are going to be so-called specialists, uh, you know, and they will always have an elitist burden uh, to them. Trying to gauge what people are thinking is one thing. Actually working with people and understanding and then speaking in their voice is another thing.